<sighs> the fuck? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Challenges. What's up, everybody? How you doing? How's everybody doing? Uh, what's up? Uh, how's everybody? I seen that uh, what's her name was uh, uh live, <laughs> which uh, I didn't know he was live, and I saw Rev was live, and I'll just say this. You never want to uh you never want to go live before re uh venting Rev's videos. I guess the newer creators are going to know that cuz he does this on purpose. He'll say stuff that could get channels uh demonetized. So, I don't know. There's that. Maybe some newer creators need to uh vent what they play before they do it. But I would say Rev is definitely one of those that does that. Um, I think people will realize that they probably shouldn't have played that video because it's just, it's just no good. <laughs> no good. Rev said some stuff in that video, um, that he shouldn't have. And if I play it, um, I'm going to have to go through it and, uh, delete or just, uh, block all the nasty words that he said. But the scary skeletons. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> I'm just testing it out because I had some internet problems. Um, the other day and i wanted to see if the internet's working better than it did before so i'm gonna look at that and i have the uh chat on the side so everyone like the stream and let's get going thanks for being here oh man let's see if we move that around I need to do my I had actually a nice talk with some creators today about uh about some things and about their future Yo. so uh the next couple weeks is going to be some interesting videos coming up not just from me but from other people that I just found out about today yo what's up my people happy Saturday maybe the quiet how are you I'm having a lovely yeah. vanilla caramel latte by Maxwell House International. It's so good. There you go. Hi, maybe the quiet. How are you, babe? We still beating this dick. Playing Animal Crossing before you go to work. I, I don't know, Trash yes, Panda. Are you I still beating Paula? Work on it. That that fucking uh, um, doxer but or. Like, Try to be doxy. I've just I've been catching up on Foodie Beauty and stuff. Sorry, I, I and, hate doxers, um, folks. I, I just I just have to say I don't like how people are treating her in her relationship. I I think it's unfair. Um, I I think it's extremely judgmental and it's not <laughs> nice how people are treating her over her relationship with her man. I mean, on the one hand, I would say at least she got to go to Kuwait. I mean. I've been in Europe a long time, like 20 years ago, and that was fun. But uh, I think Kuwait's a lot harder place to be. Don't they still like walk around with guns over there? I mean, it is Kuwait. I'm sure it's a scary place to be. You know, it's like Singapore. You don't want to like chew gum and spit it out. You know, they will beat you for that stuff. You know. Hi, Maz. Hi, Shinny Lovecake. Good morning, Riot. How are you? But I was like, Say, huh? I was seeing all these comments. On <laughs> oh, there, I'm just playing trash. And they Panda. were saying they're not having sex. This new, yes, it is. This kiss they had was awkward. And hey, I, Raku, I, man. I, I saw the kiss, and it was him kissing his his hand and putting it on her cheek, and she did the same. But the thing is, is like in Kuwait, uh, PDA is illegal, so you can't do that in Kuwait is PDA, which is crazy, but yes, whatever. This is from I, today, I Robin. It's just my ethnocentricity of being an American. 
PDA, what's but that? They took it out because they didn't want to get in trouble with the law. Please don't call the law over it. We don't want to see people killed over stupid shit. <laughs> um, but those glasses. Yeah. If you can speak Arabic, good luck on that. But anyway, knowing these assholes, they probably would. But I, I mean, we can't judge them how they act out in public uh, about that type of stuff because PDA is oh, very frowned effects. upon. Okay. Really? Um. So. Like, I don't think she, like, ever... You know what? Like, I've heard some stuff about Koi, but wow. I was definitely surprised. But you know what? I, I, that's probably why they have to wear the, uh, you know, the the hijabs. You know what's crazy about the, the whole hijab thing? Do you guys know that that's all about angels not being able to see a female's hair? It's it's kind of it's kind of crazy, yeah. Like apparently they thought that angels would want to have sex with the women, but if they hire they they hide their hair, then they wouldn't be able to see them. It's it's true true stuff, man. Everyone's saying it an excuse why she edited the kiss out. Um, it's it's because they don't want to get in trouble with the law. And I, I, I for me it's like, oh, for me it's okay. like I I I kiss and hug my husband on camera all the fucking time. So like to me it's just like. How could you not express your love for each other? That's not your uh, husband. But like, it's a different it's a different culture. They have different standards, different morals than Americans. So it's like you can't really judge it on that stuff. Yep, she got married two weeks ago. I'm talking about foodie beauty because I really don't like how people are treating her right now over this, and she's happy. And so it's like, let her be happy. Let her let her have this journey she's having. Uh, in all honesty, I think she would make an act an excellent travel vlogger. Um, it's what she wants to do. It's a good passion of hers, and she's good at it. I love when she goes in the history of the buildings and what certain things mean. Um, she was sticking up for me in my live yesterday. That's awesome. Would I want to be a travel vlogger? I would. I would love to do that stuff, but I I have a very hard time walk in I, I need a lot of physical therapy um and even if that it, it might not work the physical therapy because of how my bone structure is right now um, <laughs> okay but <What>, fat <laughs> osteoarthritis once it takes hold of your body it's, it's hey, never gonna go away. um but you know there's no cure to arthritis unfortunately but i would love to be a travel vlogger if my body would let me I can see you going to London or Paris trying coffee, teas, and mini desserts. Oh, God, I would love that. Go, like, my biggest dream is to go to Paris, eat a beautiful omelet outside, um, right next to the Eiffel Tower, because I, I really want to see that. Have a little cappuccino. Oh, I also want to try their, their artisan breads they have in France. They're just so beautiful looking, these breads, but it's like, I know they taste really good. <laughs> I think she's a high frequency dude. I've been losing weight too, so I mean, it, it. And you're right; it doesn't stop it from happening, but it does. It does very much help um, with the pain factor. But the thing is, is with me, it's like I have arthritis in both ankles, both knees, both hips, growing in my back, in my shoulders, um, and then a little bit of osseo in this elbow. I broke it when I was little, so it's it's growing there. It's always been there, really. Oh, but, thank you, um, Crash. She Hi, lost the PS5. How are you, sweetheart? Thanks. Headphones. I call shenanigans. Yeah. Well, Thank you, Denise. hold on. Is that, uh, no, those aren't, uh, the, I actually have the PS5 ones. Those are, uh, oh my God, what are they called? Uh, DX, uh, Razor. Those are Razor headphones, like the key cats. And I think Rev and both of them had, a had a Razor. Razors are decent, but I don't like the whole ears on the top. But they're supposed to be decent. I think, I think I, that thing on the side next to a reward, that's like some sort of a microphone. I'm just waiting for your thing to come up, dude. But what's up, man? I hope you're uh, I hope you're safe driving. Hey, 185 is a good weight to be at if you were like heavier than that. Like if you were 300 pounds and you, you went back down to 185, that's awesome. Good job for you. Thank you, Riot. I would love to do a Paris trip. I want to go to the Louvre. I want to oh, see the Mona Lisa. There you go. 
800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Crash Cooter Coot donated five dollars through super chat. She lost her PS5 but had those headphones. I call shenanigans. I know, right? I call the shenanigans too. Well, thank you, uh, Crash. Thank you so much, bro. I do, I do appreciate it. Like I said, please be safe out there. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the, uh, if the, uh, the highway or, or whatever you're on, if you're driving still, if it's clean or if it's raining or snowing or whatever. But uh, you know, it's a big road ahead of you in, in your truck, <laughs> so just be careful. But I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Good vibes, everyone. Going to Crash. Everyone knows how cool Crash is here, and you know everybody who just got a membership this month. This month, I'm sure they greatly appreciate uh, what Crash did. So, always, bro. Thank you. You are definitely the MVP here. I've always wanted to go to the Louvre. Oh, see the see the um, Meridian Rose that's by the Louvre. The old Meridian Rose that they had. I would love to see that. Um, Yeah, I have actually, this is funny. My The palette I, I do have is the palette that- Oh, hey, Charlie, I, I what's was, up? It is the Shane Dawson conspiracy palette, which I was featured in his last conspiracy hey, video. Me, me and Jason, we were both in the, the video. Um, he kind of vetted us, which is awesome. Um, and you know what? I just want to say this. Uh, Charlie's awesome in my book. And she always has been, always been really cool in the chats. Always been uh, a good sport. So if anyone ever has a problem with her in the community, you just, I don't know, kick rocks because <laughs> she's really cool. And I, I was really upset hearing that people were bothering her in other communities. Charlie can be whoever she wants to be. Okay. So with all that said, you know, we all got to respect each other's uh, feelings when it comes to that. <laughs> but thanks for being here, Charlie. I do appreciate it. I very much love him to death. Uh... Hey. Yeah. Magnesium. Or her face looks really red, man. Oh, I have, I'm, they have me on meloxicam. That is, uh, the anti-inflammatory. It's made specifically Patty, what's for up? people with osteo. I mean, I would be, I, I, I'm well. still in pain, but I would be in a lot more pain if I wasn't on the meloxicam and, and the Cymbalta. The Cymbalta is for my fibro, <laughs> but I'm still in a lot of fucking pain. So it's like, what the fuck do you do when, when you're, you're under drugs, they take away some of the pain, but not all of it. Like, I wish I had one day where I was like completely pain free, where I didn't have to struggle like I do. You're on that too, Shani. I went to Europe as a fan vacation when I was in high school. The Mona Lisa is incredibly small. You don't realize how tiny lots of the famous art is until you see it in person. Really? I would have thought that it was like big, but it might be really small. Oh, you're at home, that's good. But I just I just wish there was something better in the prescription type drugs that would take away the pain fully. And I haven't found anything really. And you know what, folks, I just want to say this. I really, really, really appreciate everybody's kind words and stuff. Uh, next month, I'm going to have to, I have plantar fascia. I don't know if you know what that is. It's basically uh years ago i i fell on my on my one foot my left foot and it never healed correctly i have scar tissue and um when that scar tissue needs to get a surgery to get cut out or lasered out i, I lasered off i heard that they use lasers now so i might be out of commission for a little bit in december so i'm trying to get as many videos in now because i might not be around then so uh just thank you for the kind words because you know i hate having to go under the knife or go, you know, get knocked out. That still scares me to this day. So, uh, just thank you really for just, you know, for the support. I know you don't have to listen and <laughs> I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You know, stuff has been really tough lately and just, I don't know. I just really appreciate you all. You know, there, there's marijuana, but that still doesn't take away all the pain. It just causes me to not care as much, I guess you could say. Um, I lose weight, it's free. If I run my algae, you won't have a pain-free day, only bearable days. I know. <laughs> I was diagnosed with fibro when I was like 23. How? Tell me the name of your rheumatologist. Oh yeah, folks, if you're ever in Shane's chat and she says stuff like this, just be just simple. 
can uh do you have a rheumatologist do you know what a rheumatologist is that's a special doctor to diagnose her with specifically fibromyalgia if she doesn't know what a rheumatologist is she never she doesn't have fibromyalgia a regular doctor can't diagnose you with that so you know there's that you're on the same i hate it i hate it how am i lying jana what am i lying about exactly i, I i'd like Thanks. to know you guys just spit out liar but what am i lying about please inform me on, on what i'm doing <laughs> right missy when, how does one stay oh, fat everything. while starving okay it's a trick <laughs> Cause that was specific. <laughs> okay, I'm so thanks, sorry dude. about that, Grease Bunny. That's awful. So they say everything I'm lying about. Okay. I, am I a mod and Syrah? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Ari. I found some videos that I want to cover because Shani's getting a little, you know. I've covered her for a long time, so I want, I'm going to be moving into uh, looking into Cyrax. And first, there's a video basically showing part one of his life that I want to do probably in the next stream because this stream is pretty long. I only get to do half today. And it kind of shows you kind of where he where he went. And, I, and I, let me tell you, trigger warning, there's a lot of disturbing stuff on Cyrax. I didn't realize how much disturbing him and his parents and why he lives with the grandparents it's a lot of and those gunshots apparently allegedly through his window and a lot of stuff i didn't know about that i just found out about so that's going to be interesting in, in the next upcoming video but thank you for asking where are you lying don't lie oh, okay do you just randomly go to strangers and, and ask where they Very live. I'm just wondering, because that's essentially what you're doing is you're going to a stranger who you don't fucking know and being like, where are you living? Guess guess what a person out in the streets would tell you if you ask them where you're living. I'll, I'll let you guess that. Has she still not admitted that she's at the uncle's house? I mean, she's at the uncle's. It's She's been there. It's it's all but proof. I mean, the the window in the back, the same um, curtains, the, the, the steps on the other side. She's been at the same spot this whole time, folks. I don't... I don't I don't know why she just can't be like, yeah, we had to temporarily live here until we figure something out. I don't get it. Laziness, folks. <laughs> and you know, if you didn't have nothing left, you have to beg this uncle who doesn't, can't stand them to stay there. I don't know why they wouldn't even just try to even do a job fair or something to help them. I mean, there's people that could just get them a job, even just not doing the best stuff. At least it'd be some money coming in, you know? Okay, and then I'll tell you the answer. <laughs> see they're not going to answer me this because they, they know the answer is okay, when you Pat. ask a random stranger hey, where Pat, are you leave, living the answer you're probably going to get is none I of your mean... fucking business right right none of your fucking business isn't that a weird question to ask someone where are you living What kind of content am I having? I just asked a question exactly. I'm just talking to people before I start gaming. I'm just I'm just curious where this I I, I lie about everything, so I have blue eyes. I'm totally lying about me having blue eyes right now. Totally. And I got pink lipstick on. I'm I'm totally lying about that too. Cause I lie about everything, right? <laughs> Uh, what am I drinking? I am drinking a vanilla caramel latte and I'm gonna have to get another one because I'm very much enjoying having my hot yes. drink. You sure? Yeah. Which, Thank you. Which one did you want again? The vanilla or the vanilla? Uh, I'll try a new one. You try a new one? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Yeah, cool. I almost didn't make it mess my head up pretty bad through the cold. Never mind the psych issues that came from dealing after that kind of thing for seven years. Yeah, I hear ya. PTSD sucks. What game? I, I want to play some several games today, actually. Um, I really want... I've never played this game before, so I really yeah. not quite sure how it's going to go, but I really want to try person. <laughs> Octopath Traveler. And I, I know I have to work on my island on Animal Crossing a little bit today, too. 
Jeremy but... DeWitt. I think I have. That, that name does so sound familiar. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, I just found out about him. Yeah, well, he's in he's in jail, you know. Oh my God, I am so sorry for, for banging family. his mother. I'm so sorry, Dave. Yeah, type two diabetes. Is Rev all right? Why didn't he make his show yesterday? Well, I was very under the weather oh. yesterday. Um, was not feeling right. Was having a lot of tremors and stuff. So I was like, <laughs> I can't go online. I want to go online. She's just um, walking around. I couldn't. And and then we started watching the Red Green show. So that's pretty much what Rev was doing during that time. Is <laughs> We were watching the Red Green show um, <laughs> and just giggling. Um, who doesn't like red green, right? True, Riot. Right. True on that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Shannon. You don't trust anyone. You, you think everyone's just a pile of shit. I get that. It's hard. Once your trust is gone in humanity, it's pretty much gone for a lifetime, and it's, it's not fair. And um, I understand that. You love red green, too? Awesome, maybe, the quiet. Thank you, guys. Thank you, husband. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. I know your nerves are gone today. I know, baby. <laughs> yep, I haven't seen it in a long time. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's it's actually, they have the first season of the Red Green Show on Tubi. I don't know if it's in your area, because, like, these streaming platforms. But Tubi's free. Um, what was the other ones? I was looking, like, because I want to see the full... All of the red green because I just I very much enjoy it. Okay, so you can watch red green on Tubi, Crackle, Plex, and Freebie, all for free. And on Redbox, you can watch it for one cent. <laughs> you can watch the red green show for one cent on fucking Redbox. Yeah, I can see him being like, yeah, make it one cent. That's so, awesome. So, uh, because his name is Steve, right? Stephen uh, Smith. Yeah, so, Steve so, Smith. So, Steve, uh, how much do you think we should charge for this? Yeah, go ahead and make it a, a cent. Go ahead and do that. I think that's what it's worth, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, man. I just see his face and I get joy, you know? Because of all those years. Growing up with Red Green. Ah. Carol's my favorite, though. Uh, uh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. He's my favorite. And, and, the, and the adventures with Bill is... It's well, so that's that's Rick Green. Yeah. So I think I think Bill on Red Green Show is the actual Red Green because his real name is Rick Green. Yeah. So, and he's the co-creator of the show. So I think he's the actual Red. But oh, thanks, John Robin. Smith or, or Stephen Stephen Smith <laughs> um, has a better voice. You know, I've uh, not to go into it too far, but I saw some of the bull crap that was going over there with uh, SB, and you know what? Good for her for speaking up. You know. Because when people are trying to uh, lie about you and threaten you and try to fake dox you, you know, the, the best thing to do is to speak out. You know, don't let some loser piece of shit get away with that bullshit. <laughs> That's how I feel. Really? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He's got the presence. He's got that rough, tough voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Adirondacks. Living in the Adirondacks, you know? It can be rough, but we do it. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice. Mm hmm Keep your stick on the ice. I thought it was an ice fishing no. thing, and apparently it's about the, the schlong. Yeah, it is. Don't cheat on your wife. Just wait for her when she's ready. Yeah, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> now, now, but you could make it what you say it is, that it's about ice fishing, too, because they talk about ice fishing a lot. So it could be that, too, but but there's a secret meaning to it. Well, I lived in Duluth oh, who for did almost that? a decade, uh, so it's like, I'm just used to, like, ice fishing. A whole other community fishing. crash. You don't yeah. know them. <laughs> Rev, how about that cash register? Oh, never mind. She's a troll. She's just trying to get my attention. Why do you want my attention so much? Like, why do you come in my room just to try to antagonize others and me? And then you're like, you don't know their past. Who cares? Everyone has a past. Well, I don't get your point. Can I ask? 
What? I don't get the reference of the cash register. What's the reference? <laughs> I have probably to get a job. Uh, it's uh, uh, if he has a job or not. Maybe he has a job now. How do you guys know? Doesn't fucking matter. I'd like to be the highly successful. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, I thought you said. I thought I said Dory and Raven. <laughs> no That's problem. What I would like. I just want the truth, and I want my personal privacy. So how about you stop being a busybody, and mind your own fucking business, and we could get along here. Yeah. But until you stop acting like a fucking ass. Well, I I saw that, Ari, and uh, I I heard the police call that it was uh coming out of his window. I just don't know who in Ohio is doing drive-bys. You know what I mean? Asshole, we're not gonna get along. Get along. Like, and I'm sorry if you're not minding your business and you're trying to wedge yourself in my own personal business. You're a fucking asshole, like any other fucking asshole trying to wedge themselves in other people's personal business. So, I mean, do you like being an asshole? Like, seriously, do you like being an asshole? <laughs> and they're silent on that. Isn't that funny? I guess you do enjoy being an asshole. And, and, and you know what? <laughs> That's you. But don't try to come here in my chat and try to disrupt my chat because you want to be a fucking asshole. Period. Because I don't, I don't need to deal with your asshole mentality where, where you're just constantly negative and critical over every fucking thing I say. I'm just trying to have a good time here and you're trying to be like, no, I want to be a fucking asshole. They don't go away. Don't lie like that. None of your business, Jaina. Now you're going to be blocked because you keep asking personal questions because you're just that type of person. So enjoy being blocked. Oh, they I do. really don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, you know, enjoy it. Harassment. There. Was it worth being an asshole? Yeah, you can't talk exactly. That's the one sport I know, Lucian. I love hockey. Yo, I want to ask you guys something. Uh, have you guys ever seen the movie Space Camp? I actually I should write that in a poll because uh, I was thinking about that movie about Jinx and Max. I, I think uh, what's his name? The uh, Joaquin Phoenix is in it, right? I was thinking about that movie. <laughs> it's the weekend. Be nice. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate that. I mean, you have see, I can, I can give you credit, Janice. You can be an incredibly sneaky fucking bitch. But at the same time, you can be very polite and nice. Ooh, Janice. That's, so, those are fighting like, words. I don't I don't know how to get you and, and get you, Janice, because one minute you're up here and then the other minute you're down here. So it's like... I, I... Well, Janice will pretty much always be okay with me because she can keep that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I think I'm bipolar, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry about that, Janice. <laughs> well, that would explain why we don't, didn't get along, Janice, because same here, okay? Hey. Same here. <laughs> What's up? When will you be starting your bacon garden? Bacon garden? I didn't know you could grow bacon. It, it, it does yeah. bacon grow on a bush or a tree or like a stalk? Like, how does bacon grow? I've never heard of, ba of bacon in a garden. Growing pigs. No. Yeah. Grow some pigs. Grow some pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bacon garden. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm wondering how this bacon grows. Bacon usually just grows on your side, Shani. No, that's not true. <laughs> I haven't had bacon in quite a bit. I think the last bacon I had, or any amount of bacon, was like that yeah, yeah. chicken ranch bacon wrap or something. That was fucking delicious. But I don't think it was bacon. It was more like ham. It came off more of a breakfast shit than like a BLT. Oh, hey, you Brett. You just had bacon noms this morning. Uh, you say, first of all, Cyrix is a pathological liar. He embellishes stuff all the time. Second, he's... he's is he's 43 and no one shot his common ass um i thought he's 
I was just watching, like I said, uh, there's a video that I'm going to do that kind of tells his whole life. And it said he was born in 1990. So 2000, he should be 32 years old. He might look for, I thought he was in his 40s though too. But uh, yeah, they said he was born in 1990. But yeah, but with with that bald head and all those spots that he, I guess he keeps itching, you know, he does look like he's in his mid 40s. Yeah, I, I had with that. <laughs> coffee. I'm not much of a breakfast eater, unless it's an omelet. I will eat the fuck out of omelet. Hi, Gavin, baby. How you doing, boy? Gavin, good boy. It's a boy. You came <laughs> down the stairs to say hi to the peoples? Come here. You want to say hi to everyone? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I hope they're taking care here. of those cats. I know you want to come up. I know you do. Yeah, there we go, baby. You want to say hi? Say hi to the folks. Come here. I mean, like, really, like, who uses a bathtub as a litter box? And then that, that means the cats have to jump up, get in there, go to the bathroom, and leave. You know how many cats I've seen that can't even, like, get up, like, on a two-inch litter box because it's just too high for them if they're older? I think Watermelon's definitely older than uh, Gavin. I mean, it's just, it's just messed up. You know, so I can't even blame these animals for acting the way they do because they're living in horrible conditions. Oh, he's a furry, yeah. Oh, the the police code. That's right. That's what they call him. <laughs> That's right, Brett. Thank you. I forgot. I forgot. You're right, bro. My bad. I was wrong. They just, those cats just need to be get you know brushed. What? They should make a BLT tree. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Tree? Yeah, like a BLT tree. What? Like you can get your bacon, lettuce, and tomato in one tree. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I think people would go for that. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> well, enjoy the dispensary. Dispensary. <laughs> if I bought you Destiny 2, would you play the campaign all the way through solo? I would try to. I, I haven't even played Destiny. Are you going, Ari? Oh, uh, have a good night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shani said a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, I'll say this. To be in cahoots with somebody, I think you need to be able to talk to them more than just, like, on YouTube and through chats. You have to, like, talk to them, talk to them. Uh, no, I've only talked to her like twice in my life and, um, never sent her anything. She never sent me anything. She just gave me a bunch of false information and never had any proof of it, you know, but again, it wasn't my false information. It was somebody else's because, uh, I wasn't caught up with that. So after that, I just kind of kept it moving. So, yeah, I don't trust anything Shani says, especially after G-Man saying that when she does this stuff, it's to get oh. Delta 8 and stuff. Oh, 800 bucks. I spent 100. G-Man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> Crash Cooter Coot donated $5 through Super Chat. The dollar sign challenge dollar sign match what I've sent Draven tonight. Draven and his family can use the support right now. Well, thank you. Uh... Thank you so much, Crash. I I do highly uh, appreciate it. Um, and I'm glad I'm I'm so glad that um you know you got to go back to work, bro. I'm sure that could have been a scary situation if you're used to doing something and then, you know, they kind of lay you off for a while. So I'm glad that uh I'm glad everything's back to normal with you. But thank you so much, man. I'm sending good vibes your way, <laughs> and I hope you're having a good um. I don't know. I don't know if you celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, but I hope you have a good one. <laughs> well, then go outside and and I agree. Not do sure. What you need to do. I mean, why are you so, like like this? Is the comments like it's too out? It's too nice outside to sit here and watch this. <laughs> why are you watching this? And why do you have to leave a fucking shitty comment like that? Because it's mess. Yeah, cheap -ass you have to make everyone feel right? bad and lower than you do. So enjoy your shitty time in your fucking cabin. Oh. Has Rev played the new God of War yet? Um, <laughs> no. I didn't even like it originally. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's fucking cold. It's it's like 29 degrees out right now. Yo. Yo, yo, crash, 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 crash. 
Um, you don't you don't have to do that, bro. I I I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry, man. This is a really hard month for me. I uh, I lost somebody, and this was their birthday was around this month, and it it really messes me up. <laughs> So, you know, um, you doing that, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. <laughs> but like I said, if, you know, if you needed it back, I, I would totally understand, bro. Remember, you don't have to do anything. I love you for who you are. But uh, let's get back to it. Enough mushy stuff. Thank you, bro. I do. I do appreciate it. I appreciate your friendship. <laughs> Just be careful when you're on that road, man, because I know sometimes it can get scary. I've seen trucker videos and on uh, I, YouTube. I want to go outside. I, I. Who the hell would want to be out there? Nah. <laughs> You're silly. I'm staying inside. Buffalo got 66 inches of snow. Yeah, Brad, tell Grandma that Draven said oh what's God, up. I'm sorry about that, Ted. Six inches? I told you they were um, having a freaking it's blizzard. Up, it's up there, uh, Eva. Uh, you know, on top. Where it says welcome to the i mean i always have it on there i just i don't know so but if that's going by too far uh you can click in the description i always keep them on the description just makes it a little bit easier <laughs> that's an actual number 66 inches thank you sunflower yep. sky <laughs> i mean i'm doing the math like 12 inches per foot see me i'm like from I i've lived in duluth minnesota so 66 inches is like nothing to me You don't know snow until it's like 30 feet, 30 feet and like reaching your freaking rooftop. <laughs> they have to use these massive yes, big 100. giant trucks to cut the road out of, out of the snow. <laughs> and then you're driving, when you drive, it's like you're just surrounded by walls of snow. And then the parking lots everywhere are filled with these big fucking mounds of snow, like huge, like the size of a house, mounds of snow. That was for you, Crash. Hey, what's up, lovely leech? <laughs> Grandma says, bless you oh, all. I could never. I could barely get in Ohio. <laughs> I would love to get a mobility scooter. Um, that's one of the things next time I go to the doctor we'll be working on is get a You know, because I'll, you know what? I'm going to say this. Like, sure, I play these videos, but, and this is like, I swear, the honest truth. I swear to God. Half the time, more than half the time, I just do this to come in to hang out with the chat <laughs> because that's more fun than whatever the fuck she's saying on the video, you know, like 100%. I love hanging out with you guys and just, you know, watching anything, you know, because half the time I'm not even listening to her. I'm, I'm, I'm reading what everybody else is saying. Myself a wheelchair or a scooter to help my lifestyle hey. a little bit, you know, <laughs> it sucks. I've been wanting one for a while. I'm <laughs> sorry, Eva. <laughs> Actually, I think it'll really help me a lot. At least I'd feel a little bit normal. Um. Yes, Valley House, my lifestyle. How I'm living. Do you know what that means? Your lifestyle? Oh, is that how it goes? <laughs> well, I thought you. I lied about everything, but anyway. Oh my God, you're gonna really go to someone who's disabled and laugh at them about how they're living. How about you go to a nursing home and go laugh at all the old people? I'm sure you'll be called such a good person for that. And again, like my thing with her is, like I get that you have a disability. Well then why are you, why are you monetizing it? Huh? Do you think that that's cool? I mean, you do this on purpose. You want people to do it. You want people to give you some sort of reaction. So then you can cry victim later and then get money for it. You know, if, it's like, you know, if you were to keep it, uh, keep it to yourself, no one would know and then no one could bother you. But then no one would be giving you money, right? I think it'll be wonderful too, Shani. Disabled?
I know a guy in the UK with MS and he has a scooter with a Texas right? sticker. It's badass. I love that. I would probably put a bunch of my own. Shani should get a scooter. My nerdy stickers on it. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd and I'm I'm very much enjoy being a gamer girl and always have been. You know, I'm from that Nintendo generation. I saw video games evolve into what they are now. And it's very impressive. Well, Krista, if you have a problem with watching the ads, you could always subscribe to me and you don't have to worry about them anymore. But, you know, mama's gotta make some money. So mama's gonna make money the way she knows how to. <laughs> okay, so not sure. It seems like another video I should probably vet before uh, doing it. Yeah, because uh, after seeing Rev's, vi uh, Rev's video today, I'm like, man, I gotta vet that one. You know, I got to cut stuff out because these just, they do that on purpose. You know, they know people are going to, you know, like uh, either snipe it or they're going to do a video on it. So they'll do, they'll say stuff that is okay here, but is not so kosher over on YouTube, you know, I've seen it a lot oh, with them. The stretch pants from PT. Uh, no, I don't have any of those. Uh, I'm sure when I get back to PT, uh, they'll be giving me some more to deal with. I was like on the red bands, which was like the medium stretchiness because I still have a little bit of strength in me compared to some people um, who have my illness. I still have a lot of muscle tone and a lot of muscle muscle mass in me still, which is which is good for my bones. Oh, you! I I am actually speaking of crochet. I'm actually working on something right now. I want to make myself um, a halter top like dress thing. So I have this beautiful like brown yarn, and I've been. It's gonna be like that. Like this is what I'm like. I, I gotta make it bigger, of course. But I'm gonna start it like that, and then this part right, right. <laughs> right here, this chain right here, is where I'm gonna start blooming out for the part to put around your neck this is going to have a band around it so it can go around Ugh. you know it, it's just going to look really nice i think and <laughs> oh that looks like so i'm working on that I've been working on it. <laughs> so oh yeah right on the beach oh husband gave me the blue bands from when he <laughs> pulled a shoulder yeah the bands it was red Coachella vibes, yes. A crochet halter top. Yeah, exactly. I think it'll look really good. Well, thank you, Off Grid Life. Ooh, Off Grid Life. Are you one of those people who like make houses and stuff? Like, what is your YouTube <laughs> channel about? I love those off grid, like, YouTube channels. It really teaches you a lot how to survive. Yeah, I fast off forward a bit because like, he's kind of like. He's like, are you capable of working or, you know? And I was like, no, I can't do what I did, you know? And it's just. She didn't even try. It very much takes a toll on you. Like you feel useless a lot of the time because you're not as strong as you used to be. Um, you feel bad because you loved your job so much. Like I very much lo love taking care of people and making sure that they're having the best quality life that they like, unless she's worried about having to, like, I don't know, like, pass some sort of drug test or something else that, like, would prevent her from working. I don't see why she wouldn't even try, you know. I mean, sometimes there are stipulations, but, like, I don't know. It just seems like she just doesn't want to. Which, like, is this really the only thing that she's doing? I don't know. I, I still think, I still in the in the belief that Rev might have something left and don't they still they still have that car i mean if they if they had to they could sell that car yeah, that's kosher hi overladen we're not worried about the yeah that the hunting are you going thing. we don't have to worry about that oh so, crash anyway, thank you um, have a good night man crash is leaving is 20 years of doing heavy lifting <laughs> um years and years last time i checked that that was well, clap you know, i know i look young but i'm almost 40 so So yeah, it looks it's time 50. for me to take care of me. I know, I know. But it's like when you have that mentality and so used to taking care of everyone else, 
it's like it, it's it's got to be a woman thing it's got to be a woman thing where it's like you just you just feel the need to just take care of people <laughs> oh yeah i do play pc games um and I, I i love playing nintendo i love the switch oh speaking of the switch you pass for 25 easily, girl. I know, and that's the biggest problem with people. It's oh. like they see someone who looks young and they automatically think that you're not sick or disabled because you, you look a certain way. But it, it's like, it's a lot of, a lot. like I was talking to a bunch of women last night about that who are disabled. All right, uh, I got a cash app from, uh, from Laura. Thank you, Laura. Hope your holidays are wonderful. Yes, I hope your holidays are wonderful as well. Thank you so much for the cash app. And they have the same problems as I do. Like, having that problem of, like, people thinking you're not sick because you look young. Yeah. You know? And, just and, and you, look, you look healthy, but, like, under all it, you're not. Probably clogged arteries. <laughs> Could look young and be disabled at the same time people yeah i wish people would get that but society makes it seem because you look well or you have makeup on or you, you know you can't possibly be disabled and it's a, it's a hard thing to deal with am i gonna get the new pokemon i, I would love to get that new pokemon it looks freaking fantastic i know um, Amaranth is playing it on her channel right now. And I was like, oh my god, she couldn't help herself. She loves Pokemon. That's how she started is playing Pokemon. Um. Actually, your face has relaxed so much since getting out of the hotel. Yeah, I know. No, oh, an automatic automotive tech. That's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> I should do a co-op stream with Amaranth. Oh my god, I would love to. That would be awesome. I only found out about her when she did those hot tub streams. Yeah. Yeah, when I had my mental oh. breakdown in 2019, my psychiatrist said I look well put together, but I always have to wear makeup up. It's like a mask for protection, but he made it seem like I wasn't struggling because I was putting <laughs> makeup on. <laughs> what is with that? It's like you can't you can't make yourself look good if you don't feel good now. Yeah, you, I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't understand how can, how people can be so invalidated over how people feel. I, I don't understand how she can just like take something that's probably so small and then just blow it out to like this huge, huge thing. Like everything she talks about, why can't it just be like, we didn't get along. So it was like, oh, well, whatever. Or I didn't do what uh, I was supposed to be doing. Everything is like, oh, these two had a thing and they were working against me. Like it's all like a conspiracy with her all the time. Yeah, you don't really watch her. Yeah, I I, I watched yeah, all of it with husband, and I was <laughs> oh just like, God. I was crying the whole time. And How you doing? You know, I very much. I, she's just a sweet person. You know. Have people asked for an ID when entering a pub? Uh, I haven't been in a pub in years, so I wouldn't know if people would ask for my ID. Um, Yeah, you put yourself together. People don't understand. And it's just like, it sucks. You know, but here's the thing. Here's the difference. When a man says he's disabled, everyone believes the man. But when a woman who tries to keep them, herself put together say they're disabled, they don't believe the woman. It's sheer social, societal misogyny. <laughs> I look pretty young. I'm, I'm, I am 39 years old. I was born in 1983. You know. I believe anyone with a diagnosis, yeah. Thank you for that, Toby. Oh, uh, thank you, Dorian. Need more female psychiatrists. Dorian Gray's sister has just donated $20 through Super Chat. Lots of hugs mm -hmm. and love. I'll be keeping you in my thoughts. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey, Robbie, you recognize that? <laughs> If Robin's still here, do you recognize that super chat video? <laughs> you might know who that is. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Story and Gray Sister. I, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good time. 
I'm just, you know, she's just all over the place right now. But uh, sending good vibes to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> back to her. I would love to go back to school and finish my psychology degree. Um, because it is very much a passion of mine and I'm very much a mental health advocate. I, I don't like No, how, this is from today. How many she made, like, two people there long are out videos there today. so such a mean mentality people have towards And me. so did Rev. I had to like mean cut stuff and out. Validating people <laughs> or fast forward. Not understanding I, I it, it needs to stop because people are struggling really hard. Yeah, right. My best psychiatrist was a man because he thought logically but used emotions when needed. Oh, interesting. <laughs> 1974 every time you say you're old type I rolled dice a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. She'd sink right through it. Hey man, you're nine years older than me. You're still young. <laughs> you're still youngish. Hey, she's so boring. Come I agree. On, she, related. She's People need to take mental health seriously <laughs> and help those in need. I agree. Okay, get into a game. Uh. Probably more like a Romulan than a Vulcan, because I use my emotions. And since Romulans are the cousins of Vulcans... <laughs> the Vulcans feel things very deeply. They are emotionless. Well, there's that, like, one disease um, that Vulcans get. Uh, oh, Spock's yeah. father got it. Where That's it, always it, been there forever. Like, very home. emotional and stuff. <laughs> Romulans are crazy angry, though. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Like, what, what Star Trek species would I really relate myself to? I gotta think about this, man. I love that you were reading the chat more. Yeah, I do that when I'm, like, not playing a game, but when I'm playing a game, it's hard to, like, pay attention to the chat yeah. and play the game. And I don't know if I'd be a Vulcan. I always wanted to play a Klingon, though. Because I got the boobs. So I was like, I'm a Ferengi. Jason, he wants to be a Ferengi. But I always wanted to play a Klingon because I just, I just, I very much love the Klingon mentality. I said I want to die like a Klingon with eyes wide open. And, and hopefully, I, I instructed Jason and my sons to do this when I die to have the Klingon yell after I pass because that would be so fucking cool. Could you imagine that? And then everyone in the hospital would be freaking out like, what the fuck? And, and, and the nurses would be like, listen, they were doing a traditional Klingon death. Leave them alone. Do as you will with the body. It's just a vessel. <laughs> that is correct, Elijah. That female Ferengis are not allowed clothing. Your females are closed. <laughs> You've never watched Star Trek, Ted? Try Deep Space Nine. In my opinion, Deep Space Nine is a good beginner Star Trek. Oh. You know? Oh. Oh. I love your Saturday streams. You have oh. a energy around you. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> woke up this morning and my son uh left me an email and it was this picture that had this big i love you on it and you know <laughs> i know now she's got her fifa remember the fifa her. sweater no more uh what i never watched sweater. Trek. i'm intuitive <laughs> empath emotional type what would i be a beta a betazoid the intuitive empath emotional type that's betazoid definitely you'd be like troy <laughs> and and and, and uh, Troy's mother, which is technically Gene Roddenberry's wife. I love her so fucking much. I want to grow up and be her. I'm a Vulcan, basically. Jason wants to be a Ferengi. But then again, you were in stock, so it would make sense that you would be a Ferengi. I get it. I want to be the taller Ferengi that's kind of more, I don't know, like hits on him a lot and stuff. But I would have to be naked. That's okay. Right, I don't want to be show. naked. It's cold. All right. Well, I'd be progressive. Then, so you don't You'd be a progressive yeah. Ferengi yeah. And, and, and allow me to wear clothes? Yeah, I would. Can I make profit? Sure. Sweet. Progressive Ferengi. <laughs> oh. You're welcome, Shani. Jason does like me naked. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, you don't have to be. I wouldn't force you to be like a Ferengi. Yeah. That ain't right. And you should be able to make profit. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I can make profit with you. Yeah, I don't understand that, that rule of acquisition. That, that, about females? Yeah, about females. Oh, I don't understand man, that. here comes the greasy air. <laughs> if they're good at making profit like, like, like Quark's mother was good at making profit, better than Quark. 
I know Pork even was like, wow. That's why oh, yeah, she's exactly. pulling it back. Exactly. <laughs> Jason would make a strong warrior. No, nah, I, that's just, I don't see myself as a queen. Oh, she's still in her medicine. I'm just not that. I always try to not fight. I don't want to fight. People. I don't want to fight either. Klingons are always ready to fight. <laughs> no, I'm a Ferengi, definitely. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I identify with the Ferengi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I identify with the Ferengi. They do. Maximum. Oh, oh. Well, I, I did like the oh. stock market. Yes, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> to see your portfolio go up every month. It's nice. <laughs> Profits are nice. Yeah. But they're not pro-female. They're very regressive. Ooh. A fried egg sandwich. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Sucks not that money. Janice asked if you're gonna get back in stocks. He would like to. Yeah, with what capital? <laughs> when you get your capital. You need capital to, to have a portfolio. Hey, I know if I start making a good amount of money okay. where my lifestyle is taken care of, you know, the, the house, the bills, the kids, everything is taken care of, I would start putting stuff into stocks. Yeah. I would I would invest into Apple. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They got a good mm -hmm. amount of money the, uh, the past couple of videos. What the hell? <laughs> You know, I always wanted to do that. Jason probably should become a... Hopefully they gave some money to the uncle. An analyst? Yeah, he'd be good with it. Not an analyst. That's that's math. A lot of math. Not yeah. an analyst, but an advisor. I could do that. An advisor. Yeah. Not an analyst, huh? Not an analyst. No. No. That's math. I suck at math. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta dream big, right, Shani? Uh, no. I just... You know, I, I just see my reality, and I'm 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 gonna do good with what I what I see with my reality. My friend told me in 2015 to invest in adhesive for electronics, and I wish I would have. Huh? Well, he was told to get into Bitcoin. Yeah, at seven dollars. At seven dollar. Oh my god, would, you would have been a billionaire. I know that. You should have listened. Max Kaiser, who's one of the biggest guys on RT, right? Russia Today. Yeah. He, he said to me, "Rev, when are you getting in? When are you doing it? You want to make money? Come on." <laughs> Max Kaiser, he DM me on, on Twitter. FTX is real hot new investment. That's where I would put your money. Hmm. You gotta be very careful. Yeah. Because they're the new. It's the big thing. Are dime dozens. There's a billion of those type things. You have to. You have to know where the industries are going, and if there's something that, like for example, there's an Israeli uh, battery company called Smart Dot. Uh huh. They had a contract possibly to make the batteries for iPhones. Nice! Yeah, and I was going to be in on that, but they, they never had an IPO. It's an Israeli company, so they never had an IPO in the U.S. It didn't happen. But that would have been a huge idea. It's another billionaire opportunity. Easy. It is what it is. You regret everything. I regret not putting, like, 50 grand in Bitcoin. Yeah, I do regret that. But I thought the currency could have actually been a market for currency. That's what I stayed away from crypto. <clears throat> this is live. I don't know where it's saying it's a rerun. It says live on mine. They just say that. Which I'm just gonna keep thinking. Yeah, that's probably it. You're probably right about it. I don't get these people at all. They've done that to my people a lot too. Yeah? Yeah. And Amaran. I've seen them do it too. What, it says rerun? No, no, they just say, oh, it's another rerun, folks. It's yeah. just to discourage people from watching to click off. Oh, okay. That's all it is. I don't get why mankind can't fucking grow up. But anyway. No. Jason should look into being a day trader. He always knows so much. Day trader? Yeah. You can make a lot of money at that, but you gotta really know your shit. You gotta really know everything daily on that. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a career option, but you really gotta have your nose to the grindstone on all the way to Zinfo. Constantly. You lose your shirt in a day. Doing that stuff. And he was in stocks for years. That's why Cat Love. Mm -hmm. I was always interested in the market. Even young, like 15, 14. Well, you were taking consumer math and <laughs> yeah, that in high school. Exactly. Yeah. It, it was it was very much interesting. Yeah, right. I need to get myself another coffee. No, I'll get you one. No, no it's okay. Uh, I, that's what, I'm your freaking late producer guy. Thank you. That's what coffee's for today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, coffee. They're always sniffing at each other. Oh, we had a lot of fun times in Colorado. That was a ball having fun in Colorado. I, I look at it as like our honeymoon type of time, you know? You made a fortune on Doge. We tr we. Oh. I ain't going into the Doge story, geez. Yeah, there are Dogecoin millionaires, literally. They bought the dips. 
Yeah. They bought the dips and they kept doing it and they made a lot of money on it. That's great. But pump and dump, you got to be there from the start. <laughs> yeah. We went on the second wave of Doge, not the first wave. Which... <laughs> <Kinda>, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say we lost like thirty-seven dollars. We tried to invest a little money into Doge, and it just kept tanking. And we're like, what the fuck? Oh, well, like, did, did your special advisor on the uh, on the stocks tell you to go buy a bunch of Dogecoin? I didn't buy any of that, but uh, I had Ethereum, and I didn't do so well either. But I think Bitcoin got the worst. Yeah, all those cryptos were yeah, pretty much scams to me because, you know, where'd they go? And it's not really, it's still not real money. I put twenty dollars. I didn't spend that much in there. <laughs> Worth like six dollars, six pounds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, there's no point in going into Doge right now. It sucks. I lost so much money in capital taxes, got a fist right in the keister. <laughs> Those tax men are rough. Now, if you're going to talk on this stuff, you got to be, okay, be accurate. What? If somebody has extra capital, they should put a, put some of it in Doge. Because someday, it could go to $10,000 of a, a Doge point. It could. No. Easily. It could easily happen. That was one of the, it was one of the top cryptos under Bitcoin for a while. Because everybody was talking about it. Yo, they said the same thing about Ethereum. I heard that six months ago. Yo, like I put like $300 into Ethereum. And they're like, yo, it's going to go up to $10,000. And like they took like so much of my money. I mean, for there was a while where I had double and I should have sold it at that time. But a lot of us didn't because we heard the same nonsense. It was like go up to 10, 10 Gs. And none of these cryptos, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. They will never go down, get up to 10 Gs. It was Elon's coin. Yeah. Okay. They so might go up a little bit, but not that like, much. Don't touch it. Have it like 15 cents They're all scared, right? Yeah. Exactly. I didn't know that though at the time. That's what I think. Doge won't recover. I don't think it will. I refuse to sell my six pounds worth just in case, but I doubt it. <laughs> All cryptos are pump and dump scams and easily hacked. And that's true. Yeah, you money. That's true, you can make money. There's gotta be something you can invest in that you can get really good money real fast. It's, I don't know. It's true that pretty much all cryptos are pump and dump schemes, but you can make it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can I go pay for the bowl? Because that cuff's hard too. One of the biggest crypto guys lost billions last week, but it wasn't his money. It was the investors. Mm. You lost 750,000 in crypto. That's so... Wow. <laughs> that was more than my whole portfolio. That sucks. That really sucks. Ugh. That sucks so bad, bro. I know how it is to lose like that. Yeah, right? Back in 2018, the fucking <laughs> stock market came. Lost $350,000 in one fucking day, and I'm like... And it's, there's like 66. Make sure you guys all like it. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. How well, we never gained it back either. We spent it. Okay. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Jason would tell you to do Apple. That's it. That, if you want the best return on your money and it's never going to go away, the company will never go away. It's just never going to ever. They might change their name someday, or some, I don't think they'll even do that. I, I say invest in like Coca-Cola or Kellogg's, like something you know that isn't going to go away. They call them blue chip stocks. Yeah. That's right. That's what you stick with. Anything else, can you can lose your shirt. Bam. Yeah. That's true. See, I would be good in stocks, because I would I would be like a mixed investor in certain companies. That diversified portfolio. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. That's what I would do. That's basically what I had. I had a diversified blue chip dividend yielding portfolio. But see, I would be doing it myself. I wouldn't have a guy in the middle. It would just be me and... I highly suggest having that man because he can put orders through immediately. You've you got a point there. You, but you can also do that through, like, Cash App and Chime now. Oh, and... now it's a totally different world now. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. If you want... But you can lose a lot of money fast if you don't really... You should know some basics at least. Yeah, I guess so. You, you really do. You need to know some basics. <sighs> 
You're a bad tech guy, basically. I'm going to into the ground. I made 60k investment in 3k in Crocs. That's awesome. Nice. Crocs are awesome. Yeah, they are. Everybody loves them. So she never hey, played a game? <laughs> My God. husband and his sister are going up to the Amish salvage stores today, Middlefield, Ohio. I have to work. Have you ever been to one? Just curious. They have lots in PA. I haven't gone to the Amish salvage stores. Have you? An Amish salvage store? I have no idea what they're talking about. I'd like to go to an Amish restaurant and eat some pie. Because I've seen pies from the Amish people, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure they got Amish restaurants in Lancaster. They have to. I'd love to get a quilt from the Amish, too. Oh, wait, though. Like, Amish restaurants, I... They don't really, they like to operate their own farms. Yeah, I know. But restaurants, I don't know. I've seen it on Food Network. Okay, fair enough. All right. I know they have bakeries. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely bakeries. I was in Lancaster yesterday, took a short drive. Cool. Yeah, it's right. awesome. It's beautiful. Lancaster's gorgeous. And the home of Van Life. <laughs> What's Rush saying? Hmm. Mary Yotter's Buffet. <laughs> They have an awesome Amish restaurant in Lancaster. There you yeah, go. I said they, they got to have in Lancaster. Yeah, I would, I would, I've seen them on Food Network. Like, they have, like, this peanut butter pie that's, like, yeah, but, but you don't want the meat. Try sweet potatoes, put some barbecue sauce on it, roast it. I, oh. I'm telling you, it's delicious. How about that dude we saw yeah. yesterday on Instagram? That no, they're not going to be eating that for uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, we saw this dude, like, barbecue a watermelon like a ham. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, wow. That's real. Vegans are getting really fucking good at fucking making shit now. Oh man, Eden, Eden Cafe that was here. I love Eden. Yeah, those teeth. Amazing. You should make I mean... that for us in a stream. <laughs> oh, I, I have. It's not just marijuana. Before, the, the sweet potatoes and sweet baby yeah, rice. Yeah. Or <laughs> even <laughs> Delta <laughs> 8, which is like less than marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. wow, this is insane. Never taste sweet potatoes like that ever again. It's delicious. Oh, nothing better than that. I just got some beautiful wagyu. Oh. How are the sh the like fat striation marks on the wagyu? Is it nice and marbled? I love wagyu. Sweet My dad, professional stockbroker. Yeah, that meat. Is he a never had lot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I tried the barbecue sweet potatoes. They were delicious. I know. Well, Brett, their loss was insane. That that's that's a lot of money. Like three hundred thousand. First it was one, then it was two, then it's just like three hundred. I can't believe, I can't believe all in one shot. It had to be broken up into different, different areas. You know what I mean? That's still a lot though. But yeah, the market crashed really, really bad. They probably had money in basically everything because they used to like. That's why they used to get those crappy Dell Alienwares. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They're all okay, I guess, but it's still expensive Dell trash. But um. They're very expensive and he would be able to get uh, a bunch of them for like cost because he was, uh, he had like, some stocks in, uh, in, uh, in Dell. No, man. It worked. Oh, it's stunning. I'd love to see a picture of it. <laughs> I love looking at food. I love food. And it's not because I like to like overeat <laughs> or anything. It's just, I, it's just a passion of mine. I, I have never seen you overeat. <laughs> what? No. In all the time we've been together. The I never seen you eat. Maybe a little bit more than one meal once. Maybe. Uh, seriously. You just got, you pick all day. And that's yeah. how you eat. I, I pretty much have one meal and I pick through it all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Which they say is the healthiest way to eat. Small amounts, five times a day. I actually made your butternut squash recipe the other day. My wife loved it. Oh my God. The butternut squash risotto. Oh. Zachary loves that stuff. Yeah, fried the fried balls. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Oh, I saw the butternut squash at Aldi and thought of you. I've never made one. Oh, they're so good. That's right, Valley House. Highly suggest people put yams yeah. or sweet potatoes. They have a natural sweetness in them, and they have great fiber levels. Yeah, I know. And they're high on potassium, vitamin C. Well, they make yogurt. <laughs> yeah, it has beta carotene in it, just like a carrot. That's where it gets the Just like a baby carrot. Yeah, it's very good for you. And it's so good. And it's real fat. And it's, it's one of the that was good. Yeah, I love it. I'm getting ready to cook some eggs and sausage and biscuits. Come on, sexy Shane. bitch, you, Krista. Nothing wrong with that. Nah, man, that's some sexy bitch shit. <laughs> man, this video is pretty boring. Nothing better than that. Macaroni. <sighs> Tillamook is Oregon? Okay. Yeah, food PD. 
Food PD. The cat snuck the milk before. The cat licked the cream and ate the cheese. L let's just go on a fucking rage fest over it and, and say how abusive they are for oh that. You, go call the SPCA and be like, dudes, this woman let her cat have some milk and cheese and cream. She's abusing her cat. Oh. 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 Those damn felines are eating too good with Shani. That's abusive. Wow. <laughs> he should talk. Why do you abuse your cats with good food? How dare you? How dare you give watermelon Ihe tuna? Unacceptable. How dare you? You can't do it. Then why don't can't you do brush it. watermelon? <laughs> and don't and don't cats need to be brushed? <laughs> you do realize cats eat fish and birds in the wild, right? What? You're just letting your cats eat <laughs> Arrest all me birds? my cat likes raw chicken. Yeah, exactly. Your cat likes raw chicken because it's a cat. And they like eating birds. Yeah. Yeah, right. Now she's just she's just <laughs> like a, hot mama. a shell. Arrested for cat crimes. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, overladen. <laughs> Fish and birds aren't cow dairy. Well, you know what? Oh, J Muse just came on. He heard me. <laughs> he, knew, baby. He, he knew. Oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey. Right I'm trying to hear Jason Muse. Leave, go away, commercial. Snoogans. Snoogans, man. Yeah, she's so boring. Snoogans. <laughs> Sorry. You can't about help that, cats folks. for what they like. Okay. Good. Now she's gonna play something. It gonna be oh, it's like a Sega port. Cool. I know. Snow days were heavenly. Oh, I yeah. didn't even know that yeah. Xbox. It was the best time or in the Switch world. Had this. Oh, look what they have now on Genesis is Earthworm Jim. I'm so excited over that. Uh, <laughs> Priorities. Altered beasts. Rise from your grave. You, you love that shit. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm... No, it's not. Am I? I swear... Did they take it? Oh, I swear to God I saw that. We're gonna look at Super Nintendo. Maybe it's there. Wonder Boy. Has Jason ever built an igloo? Yeah, I just said that. Oh. Oh, you built an igloo? With, it, with snow. I've never built a fort that good. Yeah, huge in my backyard. It was we had tunnels, we had multiple areas. It was huge. Yeah, snow day fort, amazing. So fun. I don't see water boy. I swear to God, it's all done. And then they have the earthworm gem for the two for the second one. You so say you never seen her overeat. Did you know she's <laughs> trying to hurt your feelings? You don't buy into it. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Were there any tunnels in the igloos? See, people think it's wrong about about taking away snow days from kids. It's not just me. As a kid, it was fun. I remember one winter. Was... Come on, oh my get to god, a game. that hurts. I, I... The boys would do the same thing to me when we played like um, dodgeball too. They always throw the balls in my fucking face as hard as possible. Why am I always fucking targeted by people? Doesn't make any sense. I know. Like you don't do that to a girl. Let's throw a dodgeball straight in her fucking. Man. <laughs> She's not even gonna play. Man, this is just don't how she is. <laughs> I don't want you to play. But like I said, my next Maybe. video, I'm going to take a break. I want to check out I want to check out this uh, Cyrex stuff. Hopefully, you guys would want to come check that out with me. I'm sorry about tonight. I know I've kind of been all over the place. I've just no. been preoccupied. But thanks for chilling out anyway. I'm going to get going. Um, smile on his face. That's it. I'll do a part two of this, but this one's like pretty damn boring. Man, I might just go to Rev. I don't know. But I'm sorry about this one. But thank you uh, for... Uh, hanging out and i will see you on the next one please uh like and subscribe and um that's it i'll i guess i'll catch you on monday all right peace